Is it true? Is Tokyo the coolest city? Everybody seems to say that, and we're gonna test the theory. One thing's for sure, there's people everywhere, and we stick out quite a bit. Just looking around, at what's going on. <laughs> Look at our balance. Um, I think I'm gonna have... This, this is that. A Let's get two of those. The Paralympic Games will be here in a few years, along with the regular Winter Olympic Games. The official Olympic flag. We got a front row view into all the paraphernalia. They're gonna use old phones yeah, old to make the new metal. That's awesome. The thing that jumped out to us right away was how clean everything was. And the counterintuitive part is that there's no trash cans or recycling bins all over the place. So you gotta carry all your scraps. Okay. Um, yeah, should we get crossing? I guarantee he washes these seat covers. Look at these seat covers. He just asked us to wear our seatbelts, which is a very kind gesture. This is the highest amount of pedestrian traffic at any intersection in the world. As soon as the cars stop, people just kind of flood in from every direction. Anyways, then we ventured around other cool areas. The large quantities of people is on another level. We're here. Actually, the highest level. Yay! Tokyo has the largest population. It's so dense with people, which may account for these tiny alleyways with these really cool restaurants and bars. They're like mini versions. There's really no wiggle room. Just find a seat and hang out with the cook. Yeah, like it doesn't have to be a packed one. That's good. Venturing around at night in Tokyo can be quite a trip. There's all kinds of interesting arcades, crowds of people, market streets, and things to eat. A sugar-coated orange, I believe. Look at that. And there's all kinds of festive gatherings and traditions, like this festival that we found ourselves in. Headed to the Golden Guy, people. This Golden Guy area is known for tiny bars. We met some really cool people, including this gentleman, Mr. Suzuki. We came here for the toilets, let's be honest. French fries, please. This is so cool. Very cold. Yeah. It's like their version of French fries. You good? I haven't tried it yet. It's too hot. Hello. Uh -huh. We've been sort of struggling with our colds since Hong Kong, so the mornings were a little rough to get started. Sometimes you just gotta lift your head up and know that the sun will rise again. So we kept up the adventure spirit and went to the largest fish market in the world. As much as I like to go fishing, technically I don't like to eat fish or seafood. Seaweed? Seaweed. I can't eat that. <laughs> no, I'm good. What is it? It's an egg. <laughs> Have a small little sliver. I should get this wooden spoon for my mom. We kept on keeping on and adventured around Tokyo. Smelt the roses and subwayed around. You gotta do the Pikachu one. Oh. The Pikachu, yeah. And then... Eli would like this place. There's some really quaint, awesome little areas to chill. They're just like the nicest, cleanest, quietest little roads with people walking and biking and no trash cans or recycling bins. Sometimes you had to work to get to one, even if it meant splitting us up for a second.
We eventually transported over to an anime area, which is really neat to see, and found dinner at this really cool little joint. We did put in some research for this one, but definitely hit the jackpot. They made the noodles fresh right next to our short mini table. Chicken. Thank you. What are these noodles called? Yum. What so are they called? <laughs> that was awesome. All the locals throughout our trip who helped us on our journey have been super helpful and friendly, even without English words. Shinjuku. And they pronounce it the same. Shinjuku Station is the busiest train station in the whole world. Someone said it's the busiest transportation hub, too. Shinjuku is where we are going for our evening entertainment. It's about to get weird, folks. That place was pretty crazy, and it attracts tourists from all over the globe. We met the nicest people from Paris. English was spotty, but we felt like we really got to relate. And this couple right here, not only was it his 30th birthday, but he proposed that day, and she said yes. It was really special to celebrate with them that night after the robot show. It was also kind of our last night in Tokyo, because tomorrow, we're going to Kyoto.